What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. I still don't really know exactly what I need to be doing at this point. Um, funds wise I'm at 115. What I'm going to do, at least for the next little bit here, is I'm going to try and find some of the children townsfolk while I wait to see if I can get another letter. Wait a minute. Oh, we got one. Okay. It, oh, look at that. It just showed up. Worrying message from Yorgi Kane. Please visit me at the Crucible at your earliest convenience. Another misfortune has fallen, befallen us, and again, it concerns the person whom you've traveled so far to see. I hope the woes of our family are still of some importance to you. Kane. Okay, where is the Crucible? That's the Abattoir and the Termitary. Uh, oh, okay, it's over here. Yorgi, Kane, Crucible. Um, I am where now? Uh, sorry, hold on. There I am, okay, so... Oh, I'm right nearby. I just need to head up the stairs, take a right, and then across the bridge, and I'll be at the Crucible. Perfect. Okay, um, so I did also learn some other stuff from you guys and your awesome comments, so if I see children, I need to start trading with them. Completing quests and potentially trading with children is about the only way that I know of immediately that I could maybe get cured of the disease. Um, I was also informed that I could use the lens in my inventory to increase my visor. I didn't even know I had a visor, so thank you guys so much for telling me. There's so much that this game just does not explain to you, and I'm sure if I had sat down and maybe looked through the controls a little more, there's probably, you know, somewhere in the settings that says, hey, hit V for visor, but it doesn't explain what the visor's purpose is or how it's helpful. Uh, so thank you. That's how you avoid the infection clouds in the sickened areas. So... That's an excellent tip, and I'm actually going to do that right now. Actually, other, right-click on that, and now my visor is supposed to be improved. Can I have both of them open? Uh, I guess it's equipped. Certainly hope so, anyway. All right, we're good. Let's go find Yorgi Kane. Okay, uh, Crucible, over there. Do. Oh, come on. Go through there. Thank you. Man, how many times have I been back here to talk to this guy anyway? I remember that the mime performance... Uh, excuse me. Said that he would be abusing his power. Most men only die because they know not how to prevent dying. Sure. My dear doctor, misfortune is a regular guest in our family home. A new calamity has befallen us. What is it? The house in which Reuben lived and worked has been tainted by infectious mold and fallen prey to the looters. Our messengers searched every nook and cranny. Neither Reuben nor Simon's body are in the house. Some of the people that helped to undertake the search are paying a terrible price. They've contracted the sand pest. How would you explain the absence of the body? It appears that once the infection began to spread across the house, Master Reuben decided to move the body. He must have taken it to some hidden location that he considered safe. However, since we still haven't heard from him, we can only infer that Reuben is dead. Let us hope that Reuben will get in touch soon. Something tells me that isn't going to happen. Were you going to ask me for help? Please help us recover the body, Doctor. We are already much indebted to you for having identified Simon's killer. If not your, It's not your fault that the truth has turned out to be so distressing to us all. I implore you to help Simon and us once more find my brother's body. The task is far from trivial. Where do I even start? Someone may have seen something. I believe you've made some useful acquaintances in the town's slums. Not to mention we all have, we have all manner of lowlife here. They could know something. Speak to my brother, Victor. He's much better than me where the practical side of things is concerned. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, so this says, Disappearance of Simon's body seems greatly troubling to the Canes. Could it be that a powerful, burly man like Reuben fell victim to some mysterious body snatcher? 
Maybe Victor would have some insight into where I should start my investigation. So, we go talk to the younger of the Kane brothers. Oh, it's so nice to have an objective. I was all worried that I was going to be wandering around for several in-game hours just kind of twiddling my thumbs going, well, I don't really have any money to buy things, and I don't see anybody to trade with, but I don't have an objective, so I'll just wander aimlessly for a while. And here's the cane. Younger of the two. Buzzing in my ears. I'm looking for your brother's body, Victor. Do you have any ideas on the subject? I do, if I were you. Old Gimsky's son would be the first person I'd turn to. Young Vlad, nicknamed Keron. Reuben and he have had some business together. He knows places where Reuben may have taken the body. Have you already asked him? I've tried, but we are in a difficult position now. On the one hand, we are putting pressure on his father. On the other, we're asking him for a favor. Putting pressure? I was under the impression yesterday that we had managed to put an end to all disputes between the ruling families. There can never be an end to disputes between our families. It's as impossible as reuniting day with night. But now I feel that Big, Vla Big Vlad's actions have a bearing on the root of all our troubles. I don't like this silence from the termitary. Could it be there that the infamous murderer is hiding? Your brother succumbed to disease. I thought we'd already come to terms with that. A stranger has made their way into the town. Human or Shabnak, it doesn't matter. We can't establish whether their involvement in Simon's death was direct or indirect, but the involvement is clearly there. Why? It has been revealed to Maria in a dream that the cause of Simon's death is hiding at the termitary. I intend to find out why Big Vlad refuses so adamantly to open it, and you should ask Vlad the Younger if you get the chance. Alright, I'll try to ask Vlad the Younger. Vlad the Younger is a loyal son. He may be cynical, but deep inside he believes in the precepts of vassal ethics. He has no reason to conceal a crime, but he'd never help us knowing that we're acting against his father's best interests, notwithstanding our respect for each other. <sighs> I respect such adherence to principles, too. Okay, I know where he is. So we'll go talk to him, then, because he might have some useful information. And I'm a fan of useful information. Okay, big Vlad. Uh, let's see, from here, yeah, it's gonna go this way across the bridge. We'll hit up these dumpsters real quick to see if we can find any more bottles of water, razors, or other, you know, needles, trinkets with which to trade, like those. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. Moving on! Um, let's see. I'm not... Desperate for food yet. Oh, look at that. I just found another razor, it would seem. And I... There we go. Am I stuck here? Can I not proceed? Uh... Did somebody die here? Oh. Well, that didn't work. At least I noticed it was there. <laughs> didn't just drop it and leave it for good. Although it wouldn't surprise me if one of you kindly left a comment right there going, No, 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 you dropped it! Alright, let's try that again. Do I need to have it turned on? Other... There we go. Okay. So it's not actually right-clicking on it, it's left-clicking on it. Right-clicking on it will remove it. it. Seems to... It seems to be in this game that anything you want to equip, you need to have your hands out in order to equip it. So, for example, if I want to change this to the knife, now I have the knife. Um, okay. And I am going to keep the knife equipped for now. I know it's not better in a straight-up hand-to-hand fight, but it's sharper than my scalpel, and I'll really only be using it mostly when I'm trying to deal with the bad guys who are trying to shiv me. How about we barter? Uh, you have nothing. Never mind. Goodbye. You don't have bandages, I don't have water. Okay. That should be the railway station, and that should be the house where Vlad the Younger is hanging out. You don't look healthy. Okay. Hey there, dude. Is the disease really contagious? How can I help you? Reuben's disappeared, his home has been infected and looted. Neither his body nor Simon's was there. Uh, just occurred to me that a map with the infected areas charted out would significantly help couriers and medical aids. I'm going to do that one first. 
It may be surprising to you, but I've already seen to that. My men are now assigned to produce such maps daily. The cost of making one copy is a mere, let's see, thousand or so? I'll be sure to order a copy when I have the required sum. Jeez. Don't tell me that's not what you were expecting. Ruben's disappeared. I don't know. I haven't seen him. Do you suspect that Ruben's dead? I do. Well, if neither Reuben nor Simon were in the dead house, that means Reuben has at least attempted to move the Keeper's body to another place. Otherwise, we would have to surmise that someone has stolen two infected bodies with peculiarly obscure purposes. Wouldn't you agree? Um, so what is the other place? There are several locations where Reuben could have taken the corpse, but I have no plans to reveal them to you until you do our family a favor in return. Why should I? Look, Reuben's dealings with our family are our family's business. We value his trust. I don't feel that disclosing the details to you would be the right thing to do. Not unless I see that, hmm, the family would benefit more than it would suffer from that exchange. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I do. I want to settle the dispute between us and the Canes concerning our unwillingness to let emissaries into the termitary. I don't know what the Canes are thinking, but we're not harboring anything, or any one that could be of even remote interest to them, especially to my deeply esteemed fellow Victor. So why don't you let the inspectors in? First of all, it's dangerous. The rabble is rioting. I've told you about them that more than once already. Secondly, Father will not submit to the younger Cain's orders. If this keeps up, we'll soon be taking orders from his ten-year-old son. I'm not doing this on the Cain's orders, but at their request. I act on my authority, not theirs. Sounds elaborate. Very well, then. I'll give you more one more reason to keep the termitary closed for as long as possible. Frankly speaking, it's you who should have prohibited us from letting anyone in there, even yourself. It's your direct duty. You mean quarantining the place? Exactly. Fortunately, we locked the termitary off a day before the sand dirt came to our town. Should the Canes insist, I have an argument that will easily convince both them and you. You require proof of the veracity of my words, too, don't you? I'm listening. The Canes are hiding something, too. They have their own skeleton in the closet, and it's even more unsightly than ours. Our closet is full of our own workers. Theirs is full of other people's children. If you can make sure that everything is well inside the polyhedron, then trust me, the termitary's fine, too. It's an enclave, a closed chamber. So you believe that quarantine will be effective in keeping the infection out of that giant bunkhouse? Certainly. Did you not say so? so did you not say yourself? At least that's how it was relayed to me that walls are a solid defense? Besides, think of what will happen if 10,000 people pour into the streets in search of food and gossip. Try to imagine the picture. Sounds convincing. I'll inspect the polyhedron and talk to Victor, but I'll ask a favor of you in return. Help me find Simon's body. Try to curb the righteous anger of the judge and the terrible Victor. They seem to have finally decided to harass my father to death. I have no doubt that no matter what he did, it's not his fault. If you do that, I will gladly assist you. Um, I'm doing this for the Canes, but I doubt that my success here can infringe upon your family's interests. Uh, I'm going to say deal. Okay. So, the younger Olgimski, being a respectful son. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Vlad the Younger may have some more information. I need to know the place where Reuben took the body and the locations of any other such places. I also need to ascertain whether the son of Isidore Barak, widely known as the Ripper, has anything to do with it. The young Olgimski, being a respectful son, as he is, has a cunning way of concealing his failures. He has agreed to provide the information I need, but only if the Canes withdraw their demands from his family. Meanwhile, Victor insists that I investigate the termitary as soon as possible. Although, he didn't say the termitary, he said the polyhedron. So, if I look at my map, where's it going to tell me to go? Because those are the termitary... Um, I guess we'll go ahead to Victor's place first. We'll talk to Victor, and then when we're done talking to Victor, we'll head to the Polyhedron since it's right there. If the Polyhedron doesn't yield any new results, then we'll go to the Termitary. So many places to go. Alright. Uh huh. I'm so glad that I really do kind of come to grips with where everything is so that I don't have to look at the map every four seconds to figure out where I'm going. Not to say that it isn't still important to have that map, because there are times when I need to know where the shops are and things like that, but it's nice to, nice to have some idea that I am going in the right direction. Okay, um... 
Oh, once again, though, this game really could have benefited from a sprint button. Would have been really nice to have an ability to move a little bit faster when you need to get from point A to point B. Although I do suppose from a balanced standpoint, if you're trying to manage your day, giving the player a way to rush from point to point may not be the best result. Although you could have it be a trade-off where it would effectively increase your exhaustion. Is this disease indeed as deadly as they say? Um, I come bearing news from the old Gimskis. It has to do with the termitary. Most curious, what is it? Vlad the Younger asked me to tell you the following. The termitary had been closed before the polyhedron was, and there are many witnesses to that. Really? What is he getting at? He has no reason to believe that the situation inside the termitary is different from that inside the tower. Ingenious. Damn it. All right, so be it. If that's how he's spinning it, then I'm forced to leave him alone. For now. You can tell him that. It will only last until we find proof that not everything is in order inside the termitary. I hope there's no doubt in your mind that I am obviously only doing all this to get the Olgumskis to reveal the location of Simon's body to me, or perhaps you might order your son to open the polyhedron so that Olgumski's agents could inspect it. That will give us the right to inspect the termitary. My son has long ceased obeying me. He regards me as an enemy. Only Nina had an influence on him. His beloved sister was someone he might have trusted, but now even Maria can't make him open the polyhedron, and I wouldn't take the risk either. Let the children remain fortified. I like to make sure that your confidence is not groundless. My son has now founded the kingdom of his own. There it is, towering above our sinful earth. He wouldn't let anyone into that world, not even his own father. If you're interested to know what's going on there, give it a try. Maria thinks you're a man for whom nothing is impossible. I, too, have long been interested in what's going on inside that place. So now, Victor agreed to withdraw the demands at once. He does not want the tower to be implicated. They seem to be hiding something there, but whatever it is, it clearly is not the disease. Moreover, I don't think I'm the one they're trying to deceive. Perhaps I could use this whole affair as an excuse to sneak into the mysterious tower across the river. I can speak to, Vla speak to Vlad about whatever secrets I uncover there. So now, I guess, I'm supposed to go to the polyhedron. That's what it sounds like. Um, I don't know that I'll actually be able to get into it, but we're going to save real quick and then go take a look. I've never gone inside the church either. I'm going to do that real quick because I'm curious and I've got a little extra time. Can I go inside the church? Yes, I can. Wait, have I been in here? I might have actually been in here before. Um, yeah, I think I actually have been in here before. There wasn't really anything in here. Ooh, stairs. Oh, I don't like it when the music gets all creepy like that. Wow, it's a long way up. Whoa, okay. So, are these doors or something? No. I guess that's just the, uh, the architecture. Okay, well. Let's get out of here then, because this place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. It's creepy in this church. I don't like it. Okay. Polyhedron. I know I've climbed up there once before, but I didn't really see a way inside. I'm not even sure that there was a way inside. I just kind of got the impression it was a big old tower. But, let's go take a look. No time like the present. Big flower mosaic, and then the music changes somewhere up here too, I think. There it is. It is quite an impressive structure. Um, and somebody did also mention in the comments uh, that the, and I saw these, see these, uh, this right here, this illustration that's sort of ingrained on the, the, the walkway. We have seen those before in the house of the artist, the guy that really annoyed the crap out of me. He is apparently the somewhat insane, which is unsurprising given how this thing is built, architect of the polyhedron. So that was just kind of an interesting little tidbit. I don't really know how significant that will be 
in the uh, grand scheme of things, but there it is all the same. Uh, nine o'clock, okay. Anything on top of the polyhedron? Yes, no, maybe? Uh, we've been up this far before. You have a head like a dog. Hi. You can't go inside, or else the tower will topple. I'm a friend of the Canes. I've come to see Khan. You're in luck, then. Khan has left the facets to mourn his grandfather. Come in, but don't try to get inside. What? You really don't want us all to perish, do you? I really don't. Whoa, okay. What the hell? Okay, this is creepy. Um... Hi there. The worst lies at hand. Sure it does. Adults are not allowed in here. It can topple the tower. Common sense suggests otherwise. Uh, I won't be staying for long. Who do I have the pleasure of talking to? My name is Casper. I am son to Victor and Nina, the youngest of the Canes. Now name yourself. Bachelor Denkovsky. Are you a friend of our family? Uh... I am. Only children can live in the tower. It's off limits to the rest. You wanted to speak to me. I'm listening. I'm the one who's listening, boy. Tell me about this structure. It's a mystery. You won't be able to fathom it. Do you see these walls? Yes. I thought so. We children do not see them. There on the left is the coast of the New Sea. Behind you are the cleft islands. Behind my left shoulder, the knot of the five footpaths, and the facet a little way to the left from it is actually the collapsed bridge from the legend of the Ever Reborn. I see now. It's poetic allegory. You're all dreamers here. What are the walls you see made of, guest? Uh, I'm not sure. Thick cardboard? Strange. Very strange. The average thick-headed grown-ups see mirrored surfaces. It's the reason they're calling this the Specular Tower. Each person only sees an infinite series of their own reflections. That was the design. Are there really a thousand children in here? Yes, but they're all on the other side of the facets. You can't see them, but they can see you clearly. The facets are a reliable barrier. Against what? You. Your doppelgangers. Everyone who comes from across the river. I don't have any doppelgangers. You do. Two of them. Also endeavoring to save humanity. At least that's what they say. Every word they utter mirrors yours, and so far they've caused nothing but harm. What kind of harm? Our salvation lies in repose and silence. Our town must stay still now freeze like someone who stirred up a nest of venomous snakes. Then the disease will abate and burn up in its own flames. I was told these were your words, were they? More like my thoughts, really. Oh, we got something new. The child speaks like a grown man. His manner leaves an impression. Could it be that Olgimsky is right? If the termitary is protected from any external influence as diligently as this tower is, I can exclude both buildings from end my inquiry for now. Can you tell me anything else? It's too easy to fall into pieces. It's nothing too astonishing. This tower has been standing here for more than a decade. Unbelievable. Uh, is that all you're going to say? Yeah, okay. So I guess we're done. Um, can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No. This These tower? things are creepy. I don't know what they are, but they're weird. So you're probably my way out, right? No, oh, that's not good. Um, how the hell do I get out of here? Can I just, like, walk up the wall somewhere? I'm trapped inside the tower. How do I get out? Because I don't seem to be able to talk to anybody. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so we made it through, I guess. Um, so I look at my map now. I guess I'll go tell Victor that we investigated the termitary and see where that gets me. Huh. That, I'm, that's really fascinating to me that I can actually see inside. I didn't really understand that that was an entrance before now. Oh no, I am going that way. For a minute there, I thought the stairs were over that way. So 
is such a weird design. Can I... Oh. Um, oops. Okay, that was stupid of me. Um, to load that up then. So I probably have to go talk to the children now, don't I? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, well, um, honestly, guys, I was about out of time anyway. So what I will do is while I'm here and I need to go into the tower, I will uh, go into the tower off camera, have all that discussion again with the children to learn about the, uh, the many facets of the polyhedron and whatnot. And I will pick this up again in the next episode when we get back to Victor so we can talk to him and find out what it is we need to do next and hopefully get him off of the termitary stuff so thank you all so much for watching um if you guys enjoy it please let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the section below like you guys have done a miraculous job of doing like every single time seriously on every video i have ever done any series nobody has left as many comments as you guys have i am it's so cool to me that you guys are are that into helping me out and that you're enjoying the series so i hope you guys will continue doing that and i will continue to do this just as long as you are enjoying it so thanks so much for watching and as always i will see everyone in the next video catch you guys later